you today's beginner's reformer flow. So whether this is your first time on a reformer, or maybe you're a pro and you're just looking for a really good stretch and to focus on your form, welcome. We are gonna start with footwork today. The point of footwork is that we work the alignment of the joints as we stretch out and warm up the legs for everything else we're gonna do. I'm gonna start on two red and one blue spring, but you can go ahead and put on three red springs if you prefer the weight to be a little heavier. So come on over to your reformer, set up the springs. These are the shoulder blocks, the headrest, and the foot bar. And all of the springs are down here. You'll just grab a spring and place it on or take it off. When you move the foot bar, you'll pull it up to drop it down. Or some reformers have a little lever that you'll pull on to move the foot bar down. When we use the box, when it's on long ways in front of the shoulder blocks, it's called long box. And when it's on short ways in front of the shoulder blocks, it's called short box. Without further ado, let's get moving. So we're going to start with the two red, one blue spring, or three red springs on. Lie onto your back. Your head is on the headrest. Shoulders are against the shoulder blocks. And your toes come onto the foot bar with your feet parallel. Have about four inches of space between the feet. Lift your heels up. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And exhale, start to lengthen the carriage all the way out. Inhale, bend back and slow. As you move out and in, Focus on keeping the same controlled speed the whole time. Here we are working in a neutral pelvis. That means that your tail is heavy into the mat and there may be a slight space between the low back and the mat. Push evenly across all of your toes. Exhale as you lengthen. You feel your quads engage and lift as you push out. And then inhale, resist back to center slow. Keep your core tight. Soften your ribs. I like my palms facing up because it opens more across the chest. And when you reach your fingertips a long way from the center of the body, it's gonna take some of that tension out of the shoulders and neck. We have three more. Exhale as you go out. Inhale, drag it back in. Last two. Make sure your knees only point straight up the whole time. One more time, take it out. Let's go to prancing. So you bend one knee and you stretch the opposite heel deeply down underneath the foot bar. Getting a calf stretch all the way up into the hamstrings. The goal is to really push one of the heels a little bit further underneath the foot bar each time, and that's going to deepen the stretch in the calf and all of the muscles behind the leg. As you prance, make sure your pelvis and your hips are stable, and you focus on your breathing here. You can move fast or slow, whatever feels good for your body. Just make sure you breathe, and you really get that heel to press down. Inhale and exhale, and speed it up. Eliminate any bounce. It's a firm press and a lift. Firm press and lift. 10 more seconds left here. Just breathe. We meet back into center in three, two, one. Lift the heels, bend the knees, come on in, and turn the feet out. So we're in a Pilates V stance on the toes. Heels together, toes are apart. Knees are only about as wide as the shoulders. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, push out and lengthen. Inhale, bend back to center slow. You want to keep the heels super glued together the whole time. And you never want your heels to separate as you bend in. Exhale, you push it out and zip up the inner thighs. Inhale, bend back to center and feel your sits bones widen. So as you push out, 
you'll notice your hip bones are actually narrowing in towards each other. And when you come back in, release the pelvic floor engagement to feel the sits bones widen. When you come in, the knees only open about as wide as the shoulders. Keep squeezing into your core the whole time. Tail still anchored, spine is long. Just for three, getting that glute engagement. Two, one more time. Come in half of the way, little pulses here. Two to three inches out, two to three inches in. Pushing from your tailbone, not from the knees. Just for three, two, one. Push all the way out. Come all the way in. Parallel the feet. Move on to your arches. Wrap your toes around the foot bar as if you're a bird on a perch. Take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale, you push out. Inhale, bend back to center. Exhale, push out. Inhale, bend in. As you wrap the toes around the foot bar, also try to push the heels under as you lengthen. And then resist back in with control. Here, really avoid the feet rolling out. So you may have to push a little more on the inside edges of the feet, just to really feel that alignment of the joints. Exhale as you go out. Inhale, back to center, feeling that oppositional stretch as you wrap your toes around the foot bar and lengthen through the spine. So we're getting a long line of energy here from the feet all the way out through the crown of the head. Just for three, last two, and one. Come back in, move it onto the heels. Your feet are parallel. Flex the ankles. Push the balls of the feet away from the center of the body as you pull your toes back toward the knees. Take a deep inhale and exhale as you lengthen. Inhale, bend back to center. Hips, knees, ankles are all in one straight line and really push the balls of the feet out as you pull your toes back toward the knees. Remember to track those knees straight up. They never point in or out. And check in with your body. Are your ribs relaxed? Is the tension out of your shoulders and neck? Breathe, exhale, inhale. I like to imagine that there's a wall connected to the foot bar and you're firmly pressing both of your feet against that imaginary wall as you push out and pull back to center with control. We're here for three, last two, one more time and come back in. Now take the heels on wide to the far corners of the foot bar. Your feet and knees are turned out. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, push the carriage out. Inhale, drag it back to center. As you push out, engage your inner thighs, activate the pelvic floor muscles, and draw the lower abdominals in and up. Feeling those inner thighs, your adductor muscles fire on, and then feeling that beautiful hip stretch as you pull in. Exhale out, inhale in. Feel your outer thigh muscles. Wrap around the back of the legs and lift up toward the glutes. And try to slightly spiral those inner thighs up. So we really get that beautiful external rotation of the femur bone in the hip joint. Exhale, get that full leg press. Inhale, pull to center slow. Just for three. Staying active in every muscle in the body for two. One more time, take it out. Come in half of the way, little pulses. Two to three inches out, two to three inches in. Squeezing your butt, focus on your breath. Three. Two, one, push all the way out. 
Come all the way in. Awesome work. Come on up, adjust the weight so that we have just one red and one blue spring on. So you take one spring off, adjust it as you need, and then take the heels on the foot bar with the feet and knees slightly turned out. Your feet are at about hip distance. Make sure that the headrest is down. Flip the palms into the mat. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Tilt your pelvis away from your face, creating space between the low back and the mat. On the exhale, eliminate your space, imprint the low back, tilt the pelvis to the face, engage your core, and peel your spine up slowly off the mat and then release and articulate the spine down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale at the bottom, tilt the pelvis away from the center of the body, creating space between the low back and the mat. On the exhale, imprint the low back, tilt the pelvis to your face, eliminate the space, curl the hips all the way up, feeling that stretch in the hip flexors, engaging the glutes, and then roll it down, upper back, mid back, and the low back connect. Continue moving and breathing. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, engage your core. Curl the hips all the way up, and then release it and fluidly roll down through the spinal stretch. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, tuck the tail, scoop the belly, curl the hips up, and then release and roll it back down with control. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, tuck the tail, scoop the belly. Feel that glute engagement as you lift and then roll it back down while staying even across the shoulders and hips the whole time. If you have any lower back issues and it does not feel comfortable for you to articulate the spine or you feel any discomfort or pain, then at the top, instead of the spinal articulation, Low, lower down with a flat long spine. And that will take some of the pressure out of the low back. So just be mindful of your body, listen to what you need and modify as so. All the way down, curl back up. We're gonna stay lifted at the top now. Squeeze your butt and core, exhale, push it out. Inhale, pull the carriage in. You want to have a long line of energy from the forehead to the knees. Keep squeezing your butt the whole time. And as you push out and in, try not to let the pelvis drop. Keep your eyes focused straight up. Soften the ribs. A slight tuck of the tail will help take some of that pressure out of the low back. Exhale, push out as far as you can. Inhale, point the knees up and over the foot bar to get into a little more of that quad and hip flexor stretch. Just for three. Exhale and inhale, breathing last two. One more time. Come back in, little pulses with your hips up and down. Two to three inches up, two to three inches down. Squeezing your butt, releasing it down halfway. Tiny pulses, stabilizing the carriage the whole time. Up and down. Squeeze, release. Just for three, two, and one. Roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Hug your knees up to the chest. Gently rock it out side to side, massaging out your low back. Roll on up and step off to the side. Adjust the weight, one red spring goes on. Coming up into elephant stretch. Elephant is like you're doing a downward dog in yoga. So stand up on the reformer. Your hands are on the foot bar. All of the fingers, including the thumb, go to the outside of the foot bar. Your feet step back and your heels stay down and you lift the toes up. Now tuck your chin, look at the belly button or in between the inner thighs. Push your weight to the back edge of the reformer. If you have trouble keeping your heels down here, walk your feet a little bit more forward. And then from there, exhale, push the legs out. Inhale, pull the legs in. 
Your arms are straight and extended. Your eyes are at your belly button or in between the inner thighs. That way we get a stretch in the cervical spine. Keep pushing into the hands, keep squeezing into your core. Feeling that deep stretch in the hamstrings and calves as you push out. And then flex your lumbar spine, tilt your tailbone underneath you and draw your abdominals in and up as you pull the carriage to center. So we're getting that beautiful core activation in that deep stretch throughout the spine. Exhale as you push the carriage out. Inhale, pull it back to center. Breathe through it. Make sure that you're not pushing with your arms. Your arms are straight and your hands are pushing firmly into the foot bar so that we're active in the upper body as well. Just for three. Last two. One more time, out and back in. Single leg elephant, you can either bend the knee forward or extend the leg up behind you in the air. Your eyes go to the red spring that is loaded and exhale, push out. Inhale, pull in slow. Rotate that right inner thigh up toward the ceiling to slightly square off the hips. Keep both legs straight, keep both arms straight, and breathe. Push out a few inches without letting the heel lift. Pull back in. Exhale, inhale, breathing, pointing the toes, reaching the energy out of the extended leg. Just for three, two, and one. Switch, your right foot comes down. The left leg goes up or you bend the knee forward, point the toes, push it out, pull it in. Exhale, you push the right leg out, inhale, drag it back to center. Feeling that deep stretch in the right hamstrings and calves. Your arms are straight, the neck is long. Point your left toes. Feeling that expansion of the leg out of the hip joint. Just for five, exhale, inhale, breathing. Last four, three, and for two, and one. Come back in, adjust the weight. One red, one yellow spring go on the reformer. Grab the straps, lie onto your back. Bring your knees up to 90 degrees above the hips. You can hold the bigger loops for less tension or the smaller loops for more. Reach your arms straight up. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, push your arms down beside the hips. Inhale, float the arms back up. This series is called supine arms and core work. So we're working our upper body as we work our abdominals at the same time. Squeeze your legs together. Keep your knees at that 90 degree angle so that we can strengthen the hip extensors. You want to move slow and controlled. You want to engage your lats as you push down and your hands only come to about an inch off the reformer each time. Exhale, push. Inhale, resist. Staying active in every muscle in the body. And try not to bend at the elbows or break at the wrists because that will take the work out of the arms and the core and just cause tension. Just for three. Exhale, two. One more time, down and up. We're gonna add a little flexion. This time, as you come up, lift the head, neck and shoulders. Look at the belly button. Inhale, lower. Exhale, you curl it up and press the arms down. Inhale, lower. We have eight more. If you have neck issues, go ahead and keep your head down. If you have back issues, keep your knees bent. Otherwise, we're gonna also start to extend the legs out and point the toes. Exhale, curl up, extend. Inhale, lower down and bend. Exhale, lift up and reach. 
Inhale, lower with control. We have eight more, you come up and down. When you lift up, try to get the shoulder blades all the way off the mat. Try to take your gaze at your belly button or in between the inner thighs, but keep a slight golf ball size space between the chin and chest to help protect the cervical spine and to help keep the neck long. Just for three. Exhale, two. One more time, lift up, stay up, single leg stretch. One leg in, one leg out, point at the toes. Keep reaching through the fingertips. Try to stay lifted in the head, neck, and shoulders. One leg out, one leg in. If it's too much on the hip flexors, aim your feet up higher. Just for three, two, one more, and rest. Awesome work. Drop the straps for a moment. Come on up and adjust the weight. One red, one blue spring goes on. Lie back onto your back. Grab both of the straps, place them onto the feet. Again, the bigger loops for less tension, the smaller loops for more. I'm gonna go onto the bigger loops. We're gonna start with the feet in a Pilates V position, heels together, toes apart. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, push the legs out. Inhale, bend the knees in. Exhale, as you push the legs out, the inner thighs draw together and the straps move above the knees. And as you bend the knees back in, never let the heels separate and the straps move inside the knees. Exhale, push out the straps, go above the knees. Inhale, bend the knees in. The sits bones widen, the hips open, and the straps move inside the legs. Exhale, you lengthen the legs up and over the foot bar. Inhale, bend back in. And it's really important to keep the pelvis and your hips stable. Breathing through it, the shoulders are relaxed. Get that full leg press and resist. Exhale, inhale. Stay with that movement and breath. Just for three. Last two. One more, push it out, maintain the V position. Lift the legs up, lower the legs down with two straight extended legs the whole time. Exhale as you lower, inhale as you lift. Feeling those outer thigh muscles wrapping around the legs, lifting up toward the glutes. And you wanna anchor your tail heavy into the mat as your feet come up. So we create that oppositional stretch. Keep your ribs connected. Keep your core tight and engaged. And remember to reach the fingertips long away from the center of the body. That way we keep those shoulders relaxed. Just for three, exhale down, inhale up. And for two, one more, lower it down. Bend the right leg as you extend the left leg out, inhale. Exhale, push both feet back to center. Bend the left leg as you extend the right leg out, inhale. Exhale, push through the heel of the leg that was bent. As you pull back to center with the inner thigh of the leg that's extended. And that's how you'll bring both feet back to center over the foot bar. Bend one leg, extend one out, inhale. Exhale, back to center. Bend, extend, push it out. We, we're here for four. Feeling the hips open last three. Two more. One more time, back to center, parallel the feet. Lift the legs up, flex the ankles, point the toes in lo lower. Flex and lift the ankles, point and lower back down. Still keeping your tail anchored and the spine long. Point and lower, flex and lift, deepening the stretch behind the legs. Point 
and flex. And remember, each time that the legs lift, think about drawing your abdominals in and up. So we have that deep core activation. Three more. Feeling that oppositional stretch last two. One more time. Now keep your toes pointed and start to circle the legs down and around and back up. Feeling your femur bone, those are the big leg bones, fluidly rotating throughout the hip joint as we get that deep stretch in the legs and hips. It's all about fluidity in Pilates. So we want to maintain that same movement, that same speed the whole time. But you can make the circles little or big, fast or slow, whatever feels good for your body, just be consistent in the move. And really think about elongating your legs out of the hip joint. So we're creating that expansion in the soft tissue, in your fascia. Exhale, you lower. Inhale, circle it around and back up. We have three more. Breathing with each stretch, feeling those inner thighs engaged, pull to center. One more time. Let's reverse it. Now we go out and around and back to center, squeezing into your inner thighs, feeling that deep stretch in the legs and the hips. Every move in Pilates is core-centric. So just by stabilizing on the carriage, we're engaging the core. You don't have to put much thought into it because otherwise you would fly off the reformer if you didn't have that deep core engagement. But you do want to think about the connection of the soft ribs, the long neck, the open chest and the nice long spine throughout the movement. So that's just keeping the tail anchored, keeping everything active, and really focusing on your breath with the movement. Just for three. Beautiful job, last two, opening the hips. One more time. Bend the knees in. Take the straps off of the feet. Step off to the side. Adjust the weight. One red spring goes on the reformer. Grab your boxes. Set them up long ways. Have a seat on the box with your feet flat onto the headrest and your knees bent. Grab the straps. Place them into the hands. Four fingers in, thumb is out. Sit up tall, lengthen the spine. Lift the heart. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, pull the straps back. Squeeze into your upper back muscles. Inhale, bring the arms forward with control. Exhale, you draw the shoulder blades together as you push back. Inhale forward. Imagine that you're pushing your hands down into water and pulling back to row. Then we're engaging our rhomboids. We're drawing the shoulder blades together and we're getting a deep lat engagement. The point of this series is to work posture and upper back strength. Exhale, pull back, hold it. Inhale, forward, slow. We have five more. Take a little bit of a static hold when you're back before you release it forward, slow. Exhale. Inhale, two more, hold it. Release, one more time, back and forward. Now exhale, pull it back, hold it. Inhale, look to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale, look left. Exhale, center, release the arms. Exhale, you pull it back, hold it. This time look left, look center, look right. Look, center, release the arms. Exhale, pull it back, hold. Inhale, look right. Exhale, center. Inhale, look left. Exhale, center, release the arms. One more time. Exhale, pull back, hold it. Look left, look center, look right. Look, center, release. Reach your arms out, flip the palms up, scoop the belly, roll down a little bit, tucking the tail, and just start to bicep curl the arms. Squeeze your biceps, lengthen those arms out. 
try to keep your elbows lifted. Try to have about 12 inches of space between the arms as if you're holding a ruler in between the elbows. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lengthen. Keeping your wrists straight. Keeping that deep C curve. Just for three. Last two. And one, lengthen out. Cross the straps, grab the little ropes. Sit up tall, lengthen, and exhale, go to a wide row. Inhale, lengthen slow. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lengthen. We have eight more. Seven more. Squeeze into the upper back. Release it forward. Just for five. Four more. Exhale, three. And for two. And one, lengthen out. Lie onto your belly facing front. Bring your chest off the box. Take your hands onto the foot bar wide. Push the carriage out a little bit. Lift the legs up, point the toes, squeeze your core. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, push your arms straight out. With two straight arms, lift the chest up and the shoulders go wide and melt down the back into the ribs. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, bend the elbows wide and come back in. Exhale, you push the arms out. Inhale, with two straight arms, lift the chest up, open across the chest. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, bend the elbows wide, come back in. Exhale, you push. Inhale, lift and lengthen, feeling that stretch out of the abdominals. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bend. We have three more. Exhale, you push. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, lower. Inhale, bend. Last two. Exhale, out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, bend. One more time. Exhale, out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, bend out. Exhale, you push it out. Inhale with two straight arms, lift the chest up. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, you lift the chest up and the shoulders go wide. Inhale, you lower back down. We have eight more. Engage the lats to lift. Lower back down slow. Seven more. Exhale as you come up. Inhale, take it down. Six more. You go up. And down, last five, exhale up. Inhale down, we're here for four. Just keeping your glutes tight to support the low back, last three. And for two, one more time, up and down and bend the elbows wide. Awesome work. Step off to the side. Turn your boxes short ways. Bring your foot bar down. Adjust the weight. Add two red springs on. So we have three red springs on. If you're tall above 5'7", take the box behind the shoulder blocks. Otherwise, keep them in front. And have a seat on the box. Bring both of your feet through the safety strap in front of you. Take your hands behind the head, wide elbows. Sit up tall, draw the sits bones together. Inhale with a flat back, hinge back. Exhale forward. You want to keep pushing your feet up into the strap the whole time to help you stabilize your hips. If at any point this is too much on the hip flexors, then you can keep your feet connected to the foot bar and, or to the platform and bend the knees and that will take some of the tension out of the psoas. We have three more, inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward. Last two. One more time, bring it forward. Now, genie arm position, round the spine. Scoop the belly, roll back, inhale. Exhale, forward. Inhale as you go back. Exhale, come forward. We have eight more. Seven more, inhale, back. Exhale, up. Focus on your breathing. Focus on taking the tension out of the shoulders and neck and keeping that deep C curve the whole time. 
We're here for three. Last two. One more time, bring it forward, start your circles, go to the right. Bring it around and up on the left side. Inhale back, exhale around and up. Six more, we're working spinal mobility. We're working oblique strength here. Awesome job, we're here for five. Inhale over, exhale up. Last four. And for three. Last two. One more time, reverse the circles, take it to the left. Bring it around and up on the right side. Inhale over, exhale around and up, getting into the obliques. Keep tucking your tail. Keep pulling the abdominals in and up. Inhale over, exhale up, just for three. Last two and one come on up adjust the weight one blue spring only goes on the reformer setting up for our standing side splits always step on the platform first as it's stationary so the left foot comes to the platform your right foot goes against the box tilt your tail lift the heart inhale push out evenly into both feet and the arms float up to shoulder height exhale squeeze into the inner thighs and the arms float down Inhale, you push out in the arms lift, feeling your shoulders melt down the back into the ribs. And then exhale, pull everything back to center. The more you push out, the more work on the inner thighs to pull to center. So just be mindful of that as you move. Push into evenly into all four corners of each foot and lift up in your arches as you pull the center. And that's gonna help you activate even more into your pelvic floor. We're here for three, inhale out, exhale in. Last two, awesome work, one more time, out. And in, hands to your hips. We're gonna bend just that left leg, Push the right leg out, get low, lift back to center. Inhale, take that side lunge. Exhale, lift up, so your booty goes back. Your chest comes forward, your spine is long. And you keep most of the weight over that left platform leg the whole time. We're here for five, down and up. Last four, and for three, Inhale down, exhale up. Last two. One more time, take it down, hold it there. Bend the carriage leg in on the inhale. Exhale, push. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push. We're here for eight. Stay low. We're working the outer thigh. We're working our glutes as we strengthen also into that stabilizing leg. Abs tight, spine long. Stay low, just for three, two, and one, all the way up, step it down. Turn around, face the other way. Right foot on the platform, left foot on the carriage. Inhale, push out evenly into both feet and the arms go up. Exhale, squeeze back to center, arms down. As you push out and lift up the arms, feel your shoulders melt down the back into the ribs. Pushing evenly into all four corners of each foot. Keep your tail tucked, keep your heart lifted. And remember to lift up in the arches as you pull to center to really activate the inner thighs and pelvic floor. Just for three. Last two. One more time, out. And enhance your hips. Bend the right leg, push the left leg out, take a side lunge, lift back up to center. Inhale, you lunge down low. Exhale, lift up. Your booty goes back. Your chest comes forward, the spine is long. And you really focus on pushing the weight into that right heel so that we're targeting your posterior chain. Just for five, inhale down, exhale up. Last four. And for three. Last two. One more time, take it down, hold it there, bend the carriage leg in on the inhale, exhale, push. 
Inhale, bend. Exhale, push. Keep pulling your abs in. Keep pulling those shoulders back. Focus on your breath. Stay low and stabilize that right leg just for five. Exhale, last four, push. Three more, two more. One more time, lift all the way up. Turn and face the box. Bring your hands or your forearms on the box. Push out to a plank position. Hold the plank, just breathe. Inhale, now bend the knees in. Exhale, straighten the legs out. Inhale, bend the knees in. Exhale, straighten the legs out. Keep squeezing your core. Push firmly into your forearms or your hands. That way we stay active and lifted in the upper body as you don't want to sink in the chest. We have five more. Exhale, push out. Inhale, pull in. And for four, squeeze. You got it. Last three, all the way out and in. Just for two. One more, push it out. Now pike your hips up. Look at the toes, bring it in. Push out to a plank. Curl into the abs as you lift up the hips. Push back to a plank. Focus on your breathing. Feel every muscle throughout the abdominal wall engage as you lift and lower the hips. We have five more, go up and down slow. Last four, exhale and inhale. And for three, last two, one more time up and down and step off. Awesome work, take your boxes off. Place them back to the back edge of the reformer. Bring your foot bar up and let's finish with a psoas stretch on each side. Hands on the foot bar, right foot on the floor, left foot against the shoulder block. Bend the right leg, push the left leg back to a deep low lunge. Chin up, heart lifted, shoulders down. Just breathe. Lift back up, straighten the right leg, lift the toes, push it into splits. Come back up, drop the foot, bend the knee, go to your forearms, push it back, tuck your chin, look down at the floor. Come on up, other side. Left foot on the floor, right foot against the shoulder block, bend and stretch it back to a deep lunge. Chin up, heart lifted, shoulders down. Lift back up, straighten the leg, lift at the toes, take it into splits. Lift back up, drop the foot, bend the knee, drop it to your forearms, clasp at the hands, deep inhales, deep exhales here. One more big inhale. Exhale, come on up. Awesome work today. Thank you so much for joining me for this intro beginners reformer flow. Have a beautiful day. Oh, oh, oh.